All right, so like I mentioned in the last video, I had my channel, my YouTube channel, this one right here, terminated, suspended, and I was able to get it back. It was terminated for wrongful reasons. It, it, it was just like a glitch in the system, I guess, or something like that, or you know, I was flagged for something I shouldn't have been. Never really found out exactly the, you know, the exact reason why it got terminated, uh, but I felt strongly that I didn't violate any community guidelines or copyright, anything like that. And so I did a lot of research and tried a lot of different things to figure out how to recover the channel. And I was able to do it. Um, and so I've learned, and I learned some, you know, different things that are worth the try if your channel got suspended, wrongfully suspended. Uh, and so I just wanted to share those with you guys. So the very first thing that happens when your channel gets suspended is you get an email informing you of that and you also can't sign into your account anymore at that point. And it's not, you can't search it on YouTube and find it or anything, it's just, it's, it's shut down. So when that happens, they send you an email and they, they give you a, a general, here's like, you know, general category of what you got suspended for, but no, specific reasons. So this is a look here at the notification email that I got. As you can see, subject line, YouTube account notification says, we'd like to inform you that due to repeated or severe violations of our community guidelines, your YouTube account, Alex H. Sco, has been suspended. After review, we determined that activity in your account violated our community guidelines, which prohibit spam, scams, or commercially deceptive content. Okay, so I got uh, you know, my account was shut down f uh, for these reasons here due to repeated or severe violations of community guidelines. So I went in and read community guidelines make just to double check everything. Like I said, I, you know, I wasn't doing anything wrong. So I felt confident in uh, m moving forward to try and get my channel back. And so this last line down here, if you would like to appeal the suspension, please submit this form. So I click this to appeal. And this is, you know, the first thing that you want to do if you got your channel suspended is uh, appeal it. And so how you do that is just by clicking that link in that email and then put right here your full name and then right here your email address of the YouTube channel, email address they can contact you, URL of the suspended channel. And then right here, you can give a brief explanation of why you think your channel should not have been suspended, why it should be reinstated, and then click submit. So I did this, and then I got an email back, this one right here, and it said, thank you for your account suspension appeal. We've decided to keep your account suspended based on our, sorry, based on our community guidelines and terms of service. So send in the appeal, and my appeal was rejected. And so, I, you know, I was running Google searches and reading everything I could find, just devouring everything I could find about how to recover a suspended YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, so I read, you know, someone suggested a pill a second time. So I tried that. And then I got this email here. Would like to, oh, no, sorry, not that one. Got this one here. Thank you. Nope, not that one. <laughs> Then I got this one here that said, we've looked into your request and found you've recently sent an appeal. Please wait for the result of your current appeal. If it has already been decided, please refer to that outcome. Note, you cannot appeal a second time. So that didn't work either. So now at this point, it was back to Google, searching uh, you, you know, and on, on YouTube, watching videos, just trying to figure out any little way, any little thing that I could do to try and, uh, get my channel back. So I just kept reading and reading and eventually found a little piece of information that was about a trusted flagger is what it's called on Twitter. And so what I did is I went to Twitter and found a trusted flagger. What a trusted flagger is, is somebody that works for YouTube and basically, you know, on Twitter monitors tweets to see if um, there's someone like complaining about their account being wrongfully suspended. And then, you know, they'll jump in and say, hey, like, what's going on? And then if they think that, yeah, okay, maybe this channel was actually wrongfully suspended, then the trusted flagger can send in an appeal. So that's exactly what I did. I found a trusted flagger on Twitter, 
and tweeted at him and said, hey, I think my channel's been wrongfully suspended. Can you take a look at it? Help me out. Uh, and that didn't go well. Uh, that was, he just was like, I think it's been suspended for correct reasons. And he blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> on Twitter. So I was like, what's going on here? Like what? Oh, and I didn't get any information from him about, you know, like more specific reasons as to why my channel was suspended. But he did say um, he believed it was uh, wrong. He, he believed it was correctly suspended for violating YouTube's rules on mass advertising. And so I, who knows what what that meant mass advertising like what I don't I don't don't know what that meant but still like I was like no that's not this like why I was I didn't understand like he, he he didn't give me any specific reasons he just said mass advertising and again I'm confident that my channel wasn't breaking any rules so I was like okay I'm guess I'm not giving up yet I, let's, let's try again and so this is where um I went to reddit right and Basically just had the idea of going into the subreddit YouTube and creating a post explaining just everything that I've been explaining to you, to you guys about my about what happened. Like it got suspended, here's everything I've tried. And I was just basically laid it out um, in, a, in a Reddit post in the, in the YouTube subreddit. And then uh, I posted that and then I got some people that started, um, a couple people that messaged me. And one of them was a YouTube flagger that monitors Reddit. And this is where it worked, finally. Um, and I think it's honestly just because, and thank you to that flagger on Reddit that helped me. But I basically, I think I, like, I just needed someone to actually take the time and look into it. Um, and he thought it was because of a title that I used, which was how to get free YouTube subscribers hack. And so he thinks that the, you know, spam systems or whatever pick that up is like a video about how to game the YouTube subscriber system. And anyway, so I explained to him, no, 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 that's not at all what the video is about. Like I just use that title for SEO purposes and for search, yeah, for just to like show up for that high volume tag. And but I was like, the, the content of the video is not at all like breaking any rules or guidelines or anything it's literally just saying like put a link in in your instagram bio to your youtube channel like that's how to get more youtube subscribers and so i explained that to him and then he was like do you have a video do you have the video a copy of the video that you can send me so i sent him a copy of the video he's like all right I, and then so he reviewed it and was like okay sounds like you know look you're telling the truth so then he sent it into youtube and it was um three or four days after that, that my channel was reinstated. And I didn't get an email from YouTube or anything. I actually just was like, okay, let's see. And I tried logging in and it worked. And then short, like just a few hours after that, the flagger on Reddit um, messaged me and said, hey, your channel's been reinstated. What a pain, man. What a nightmare to have to like go through all of that. It was, I don't know, I think a week and a half or close to two weeks grand total that it was suspended. And I was just trying, you know, whatever I could. And I went, so I went through three rejections, three, three rejections after it had been suspended. And then on the fourth try is when I, I finally got everything pushed through. And that flagger was super dope and helped helped me out a bunch uh but yeah so anyways i'm stoked to have my channel back if you're watching this you probably had yours suspended and you're trying to get it back so i hope that these steps help you out uh appeal that's your first step after that on social media platforms create posts about how your channel was wrongfully shut down and you know maybe get people to share that post and then also search out flaggers on different social media platforms and even just message them directly and say, hey, would you mind looking into this for me? I'm you know, confident that I wasn't breaking any rules. My channel was wrongfully suspended. And you know, like in my case, I actually had to go uh, through one and then to another one because the first one didn't work out, second one did. Maybe the first one will work out for you, but 
Yeah, trusted flagger seems to be the way to go if you get your uh, appeal rejected. So I hope these tips work for you. Mm -hmm.